it's Ben. Uh, welcome to Dash 9 Computing. Today I'm going to mess with the uh, Adafruit uh, TFT Feather ESP32-S2 and um, I, uh, I'm going to create UF2 files with Arduino IDE uh, software and coding. Um, the real big difference with the uh, using the Arduino IDE code uh, coding style is that it creates this file as opposed to using CircuitPython, which is multiple files. Uh, it creates one executable, everything's built into it. Um, it runs quickly, which is nice, and it's very powerful. However, one downside is that it takes a while to compile the software and move it, whereas uh, CircuitPython, you can just kind of do it on the fly, on the actual um, device, and it's, it's pretty instantaneous. So if you want to be like, oh, I didn't put enough spaces in, or oh, small typo, uh, so, but but it's it's very powerful, very cool. A lot of people do it. Also, this way you can give out a piece of compiled software, as opposed to just a bunch of different files. It can be easier to for people to deal with. Um, so that that's a piece of it. And then I yeah, and I give a couple examples. So enjoy. Here is the page uh, on Adafruit that I used to kind of configure configure the Arduino IDE, and I will put a link to this in the description. But it shows you sort of where to get it. Uh, and here's the Arduino IDE. So let's just switch over. This is it, this is the actual software, Arduino IDE. And um, I'm just gonna go through a really quick kind of how to configure it and you can follow the directions a little more closely. But at first you go into Boards Manager, which you can also get to from under here, Tools, Board, Board Manager. But um, Board Manager, and uh, you search on ESP32 and you install this ESP32. Then um, you go to Package Management, which is also uh, linkable from here as well. I'm just looking for it. There it is, Manage Libraries. Sorry, not Package, but Manage Libraries. And um, I'm just searching on Installed. Um, I installed quite a few, and it, it installs the, um, the dependencies as well, which is fantastic. So say yes to dependencies. But I uh, grab the Arduino HTTP client, I probably won't go through all of these, there's so many, but here's the TFT by Arduino and Adafruit. You can search also on things like for, um, uh, you know, just you can do different types of searches. So definitely install a bunch of that. <laughs> You're gonna need that. Then the next thing I did is I went to tools and I looked for ports. So here, my Adafruit Feather ESP32 S2 TFT, I selected. There's other ones here, Bluetooth, which I would use, Cisco, that's a headset. Here's another headset. So select the appropriate um, port. Uh, you have to have it plugged in, by the way. In order to do this, it won't just show up otherwise. And also under board, uh, there's board manager, ESP32. This is one of the things that we installed initially. And if you scroll down, you'll find your board. In this case, it is the Feather ESP32-S2. Now, a nice thing too is when you install uh, oh, sorry, one other thing I forgot about. Go to Preferences under Arduino IDE. Highly recommend clicking Show Verbose, show verbose Output During Compile and Upload. This is also documented on the um, Adafruit site. Also, you will need this additional boards management URL, manager URL. They provide that there as well. You should probably do this first, now that I think about it. Okay, so one thing that's interesting when you install all that is you can then go to, um, it installs some examples. So if we go to File, Examples, and you scroll down, these are some of the ones it added. And I'm going to um, fiddle with one. I've already actually done it. So I kind of took one and adapted it to, to my needs, which is one of the fun things we do. Let's see, it's called the Graphic Test Feather ESP32 S2 underscore TFT. So Graphic Test Feather. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Examples, uh, Adafruit. Oh gosh, I can't remember where I grabbed it from. It was in here, I promise. You can search on it, but rather than spend all this time doing that, what I'll do is just kind of show you the script. Um, it, it, yeah, it was originally written by Adafruit. Just wanna give props to their doing this. And I basically, um, it turns on the screen and says hello and welcome and it changes the, um, the line draw test and different things like that and says different words. Um, I This is the unedited version. I am going to, no, actually, 
I take it back. This is my edited version. Here's where I changed a few colors and what it's going to say and kind of how it's going to do it. So let's say you make some changes. This little check mark to verify, um, it runs down here, and this is in the verbose mode. It'll do a quick check because it takes a little while to compile it and upload it. So I recommend doing a quick check. It finds it and you can, and it'll tell you what it is and you can go fix it. So very handy. I know this one is going to be good. So it says done compiling. Okay, let's, this arrow uploads it. So it's gonna do that check again. It also builds in the libraries you need. Super helpful. I love this part of it. You don't have to go find each individual library and build it yourself. So fantastic. So it's doing the compiling. Okay, so now it's restarting. There we go, welcome to Dash 9 Computing. And I had to do a six second delay. And then here it says, here's some data. Sketch has been running for 493 seconds. Now Sketch is what they call the script. And then it does some screen checks. Kind of shows what this TFT display can do. It's pretty sweet. And then it just inverses colors and then just repeats this. So. Um, pretty interesting. Um, you can do, I think, a lot of interesting things with that. Um, the section where it shows how long it's running uh, is a good example of where you could hook up a sensor. Um, they also have where you can show kind of the onboard battery, but you get a temperature sensor. Um, so a pretty cool little, little example. Here's another sample that I've adapted very slightly, but it's advanced web server info. Um, and Again, it's under the examples, under file examples. And then I changed it to, it runs a little web server and I'm having it uh, pull a picture from a website and presenting it. So let's just see what it does when we uh, upload it. Okay, so this one does not print anything to the screen. I probably should have it just let you know it's even on. There's no light or anything, but it creates a web server and I created a page called sarah.local. And if you browse to it, if you're on the same network, it loads this cute little page that says, I love you. And then the uptime and then a little heart. And that's for my wife. It's very silly. Oh, and it did a reload, <laughs> a reload. There we go. Yeah, just a simple, cute little thing. Maybe for Valentine's Day.